Good morning. We're off again. Today was supposed to be a chill day. And I wasn't going to go anywhere this morning. But I got my Christmas bonus slash um, birthday money yesterday. <laughs> and it's burning a hole in my pocket. Um, this morning when I woke up and was checking my Instagram, I saw this backpack purse that I had been looking at on Amazon. It was one of the ads. So I went and looked at it and then I saw another one. I was reading reviews and trying to determine size and everything. But then I was like, well, why am I ordering this from Amazon when there's a perfectly good purse that I wanted or backpack style purse that I wanted at Target? Why don't I just go get the one from Target and call it good? And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I did get enough to buy my iPad Pro, but guess what? I'm so cheap <laughs> that now I'm like, um, maybe I shouldn't spend all of that and I should just get the purse and save the rest in case of emergency. So as for now, I'm just gonna hold on to the rest in case of an emergency or in case, I don't know, I just, I told y'all I'd hate to spend large sums of money. And I knew this was going to happen even when I said, well, if I get at least half of what it costs, then I will go ahead and buy it. But I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do it. Also, today is um, the winter concert at my son's school. He did, um, he played guitar last year as one of his electives, and this year he's doing violin. So that's this afternoon. We go see that. Um, I don't have to pick him up from school. They're just gonna go to the performance place, and then I'll just pick him up after the performance is over. So, and we did have chili last night, and it was good. My daughter, um, she's taking a cooking class at school, and they made, she doesn't eat cornbread, okay? So, but they made um, corn cakes, you know, where you take the corn um, bread batter, you put it in a skillet, and you brown it like you do pancakes. Well, that's, she made those at school, so now, She'll eat it like that. She just don't, doesn't want to eat it like baked in the oven. So we had chili and rice and I made my cornbread batter and then she cooked it in the skillet. And that was good. And we will have the leftovers tonight. I'm not cooking tonight. Plus I won't have time unless I cook early in the day because of the winter concert. So that's cool. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to wear to that. I don't know if I want to dress up or what. It's kind of chilly today. I don't know if that's going to hold through the rest of the day or how that's going to work. Um, I don't know if I want to dress up or not. I think I might just wear jeans. Most of those people don't dress up. I don't know. It's not like I got a whole bunch to choose from. What's up? It's the temperature. I think this thing says the temperature is 51. But the wind is blowing, so that makes it a little colder. Feel a little colder. Um, I really need to get me another jacket. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to Target to get my purse. My daughter wanted this connector thing for her iPhone for the headphones or something. I don't know. I got a screenshot of it. So I'll just go back to electronics and find it. And then I think that's it. I'll see if they got the snowball cookies for the young man. And call it good. I was debating if I should go to Michael's again and check, but I don't think I feel like it. I'm kind of tired today. Um, and I might go to the hair store. That's what I call it, the hair store. The beauty supply store. Um, and go ahead and get 
Gigi Baby's hair bows for Christmas. And I guess I could get her gift card while I'm at Target too. We'll see. That'll wrap up all the Christmas shopping, I guess. I have to see what time it is when I come back because I don't think the hair store is gonna is open yet. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna talk about the mastectomy, mastectomy, I can never say that, about the surgery. I had the surgery on January the 30th. And so I'll talk about that and what happens after and what I think about the implants, which was, well, I'll just talk about that part of it. And then we'll talk about the implant part another time. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have time today to discuss that. So I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. Oh, and I need to, um, Saturday, I have to go over to my dad's. So far, he hasn't actually asked about the stuffing, so maybe he doesn't want any more. That's cool. Um... My daughter and I talked about it. Oh, they're not even open yet. My daughter and I talked about it last night about what we were gonna have for Christmas dinner. And I think we're just gonna have lasagna. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said she wanted. And hey, I am totally cool with that because it's easy to make. I don't have to make a whole bunch of dishes. Um, I was gonna make seven up cake. But now I don't think I will. Uh, okay, let me go on the other side. Yeah, so now I don't think I will make that. I think I'll just, um, she said she wanted to make red velvet cupcakes. So maybe I can pick that up while I'm in here too. So I'm just gonna let her do that. So we'll have lasagna. I'll probably have some salad or something to go with that. And red velvet cupcakes for dessert. I'll probably go ahead and make the sweet potato pies since I already have the pies in the shell. I mean, the potatoes in the shells. And that's gonna be it. Nothing big and major. I like that idea. So I can spend my time working which is kind of fun for me most of the time. But I'm here at Target, so I'm going to take myself in here and see what's what. Looking at a straight hot mess today too. <laughs> I guess what? I I gotta dress up later this afternoon. Who looks like the same old, same old in here? Same stuff that we already saw. Yes. Different. Oh, their wall calendars are three dollars. I'll just get one from um, Dollar Tree <laughs> so I can cross off my prescriptions. I wonder if this would fit in a planner. That's only a dollar. That's not bad. Just not a really nice color. What's this? Hmm. 
I only have one of those planner binders left. Sticky notes. Okay. Off to what I came in here for. Thank you. Do I need a basket? Maybe I should get a basket. I don't think I need one, but I'm gonna get one anyway. Give me something to lean on. Getting old. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not more chaotic in here. It's so close to Christmas. Thank you. It's weird. Strangely quiet. Should I go get the purse first? And the way they have this set up, you can't even get through the aisles with your basket. Another reason why I don't like it. The displays are pretty, but... <sighs> That's really pretty. No, my bag is gone. OMG. I should have bought it that day. Oh, there it is. They just moved it. Whew. Okay. So this is the one I want. I know it probably won't last long. But I like it. Now let me go. See what else I can find. So I think this is what she needs. And here they go with the Milano, but nothing else. Do that many people like those Milano cookies? So this morning I actually have a list, so I just consulted my list. The cookies are gonna have to stay on the list, but I wanna look and see if I can find some Christmas candy. Um, let me go back here to the Christmas section. This is a Christmas. Because I have not had any success finding Christmas candy. Um, at any of the other stores. They wanna sell this stuff that you put in stockings and stuff, but that's not what I want. And I don't want chocolates. This is more like it. But it's pretty picked over. Should have thought to come here first. Oh, they got cookies back here too, but still not the right ones. Nope, no snowballs. I can't believe Walmart has better Christmas cookies than the other stores. So those are the candies that I got. Um, I guess I'll keep looking. Okay, so I got my purse. I got some headbands that won't break. Um, I was looking at the wallets. I do need a new wallet. My wallet is looking real, real raggedy, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting one until they have a much better price. 
So, I didn't know that car was waiting for me. Um, yeah. Didn't get the cookies. I can't believe all they have is those Milano cookies. Like, that's what everybody eats. Um, I got a couple bags of candy. It's not really Christmassy candy. It's just the wrappers, but that was the best selection I was able to find so far. And I think I'm going to hit this other Publix down here. I really don't want to be out too late this morning. What time is it? The hair store is not open yet anyway. Actually, there's two public stores down here. I think I'll just go to the big one, cut out the middleman, go to the big one, and hope for the best. And I got some, um, I treated myself and got some of the Mrs. Meyer soaps. So I got some hand soaps for my bathroom. I got some all-purpose cleaners for the rest of the house. And I might share some of the hand soaps with in the other bathroom, in the kids' bathroom. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. They might need to just stick with the soft soap, dollar container of soft soap. And I got some, um, we were out of pods for the dishwasher. So I got a big box. Hopefully that'll last. I'm gonna put that on my master list. Um, I think it's 84 pods. So that's almost three months worth of pods if we do um, use the dishwasher daily. So. And I got the rinse agent because I was out. So all those things, those staples are the types of things that I want to add to my list. And I know we probably need paper goods like toilet paper, paper towels. Um, we had a pretty good stock in the laundry room, but I think it's dwindling down and I don't want it to dwindle down too far before I replenish. So, time to replenish. But yeah, I did good. I didn't buy myself anything but the headbands and the purse. And the rest of my cash birthday money is it was just sit there and I got the um, the little connector thing for my daughter she'll be happy <laughs> so, and I need to go to the bank oh there's the bank right there I'll go there on the way back I already told them when they get their Christmas money and my daughter her birthday is next month my youngest daughter um, most, you know, it's weird. Uh, the majority of my immediate family, when I was growing up, all of their birthdays are in January. My mom, my dad, my brother, my daughter. It's all those Capricorns. <laughs> it's like, but it's it's weird because my mom and my dad are so different. I think I'm more like my dad. I don't know about my brother. I don't, my brother and I are five years apart. So, basically to me, he's a spoiled brat. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we're we not that close. I mean, we're, I don't know. It's not that we're not close. We just, of two different generations, I know five years probably doesn't seem like a lot, but it kind of is. I don't know. Because I can't say that. Well, no. Because if I look at my oldest daughter and my two youngest, they're like 14 years apart. Something like that. Um, I don't know. They're not that close. But they do argue and carry on just like siblings. As old as she is, <laughs> they still battle it out from time to time but I know if anything happens to me that she would take care of them so that's all that matters and my oldest son I don't know he's still, I don't think he's all the way grown up yet 
maybe by the time he turns 30, he'll be grown up. He's still a kid. To me, he is. And I'm not one of those parents that's like, oh, you will always be a baby to me, blah, blah. No, my oldest daughter, I guess that's because I know she can handle it. She can manage her life. I don't, I don't, like... I don't get involved. I don't. I'm there to support, give advice, whatever. But I'm not going to try to tell you what to do. You grown. Do what you want to do. I told y'all I believe in live and let live. And now, my oldest son is not doing as much as he could. But I've given him the tools and information. This man just walked out in front of me like I wasn't driving. I've given him the tools and information to um to do what he needs to do. I'm not going to sit there and nag at him day after day, run up my blood pressure, stress myself out because he's not doing it. I've given him the tools and the information and the resources. It's up to him to follow through. My mom doesn't see it that way, I don't think. I think she thinks I should just be like threatening him all the time or kicking him out. And as long as he is not breaking the law, I don't believe in kicking people out, first of all. That, I don't believe in that. Um, you got to be doing something really, really bad for me to kick you out. That is like so horrible to me. I would never want anybody to do that to me. So I just can't see myself doing that to somebody. But yeah, he could be doing better, but I'm not going to pester him. And it's probably good that I don't. I don't want to alienate him. And I found out that he's actually moving towards doing what everybody says he should be doing. He just wasn't talking about it. So... I'm going to leave him alone. Leave people alone. <laughs> I'm not nagging him. So anyway, I'm here at Publix. So I'm going to go on in the store. This is another really nice Publix. I think it's even better than the one we went to on Saturday. Look at it. It's really pretty. and big these people are looking at me wondering what is she doing <sighs> maybe I should start coming here They don't have the cookies either. Wow. Oh, they got some Milano cookies. Okay, that was a bust. I didn't buy anything because I'm gonna hit this other Publix that's on the way home. Um. And I'll get her cake mix and the stuff to make the lasagna, I guess, so that I don't have to go to the grocery store tomorrow. But y'all see, almost every day I'm going to somebody's grocery store. Because I, I don't know why I do that. But I think it's just because I want to get out of the house since I work at home. I think that's part of it. But yeah, what I respect what I was saying about the children, I don't... I'm not in their business, the adult children. They are adults. I have to be confident in the fact that I raised them and I taught them what they needed to know. And 
that I raise them to be good people and that they can handle their own lives. There's no way I want to be handling somebody else's business or dealing with somebody else's business. I have my own business to deal with. So I give them the tools that they need to do what they need to do to become independent good citizens it's like everybody's got to live their life you can't live other people's lives for them I don't understand that I don't know why anybody would want to do that can you imagine how much more stress that would add to one's life and I was almost gonna order I was almost gonna order those cookies from Amazon but when I looked it up it said that they're all from third-party sellers and they just had this thing on Good Morning America a little bit that I caught talking about sellers selling stuff out of the garbage or something I didn't see the whole segment I just saw like the um, you know where they do the little teaser of that segment and I'm like, oh no, I'm not ordering any food from Amazon. I don't do that anyway. <clears throat> I was planning on order that, ordering um, some rock candy, but I don't know. Is it safe to order the candy? I don't want to get dumpster candy or something that's you know wrong. With me. I'll have to look at that candy and see if it's from a third party seller, I guess. But really, tech, well, no. They even said that um, Amazon is like the flea market, an online flea market. Because people assume that if something is prime or shipped prime, um, then it is from Amazon. But that's not true. You have to look on there and see if it's actually an Amazon, you know, item or if it's being sold by a third party. In other words, you have to read. And people don't like to read. That's why we get surprises. But I don't think I've ever ordered any food substance. I've ordered candy before. But never like grocery type foods. I don't know, something about that this never seemed right to me anyway. Not, not that there would be anything wrong with it. It's just, I don't want them shipping me food in the mail, basically. I'm so not used to coming over here. This is a place that I do not frequent. sunshine so it can be nice and hot when I come back and get in the car and then I can hit the bank on the way out okay going in here and give it a, one more shot this isn't a fabulous public so I'm not even going to try to show this one it's kind of old alright okay leaving the bank got that done Oh, do I feel like going to the hair store? It's kind of late. It's 1030. I, I did not mean to be out this long. Um, ooh, ooh, I don't know. And I'm kind of weary of spending money at this point. So I really don't know. I may wait until tomorrow or Saturday to go to the hair store. Let me see how I feel by the time I get through this light. You know, I notice as I'm making these, doing these Vlogmas videos, I make a lot of faces. I need to work on that. And I think I may have resting bee face syndrome. I remember this one time when I was growing up, my mom was a skater. So, we, and I told you we were seven day at Venice. So when the sun went down on Saturday evening, we would be headed to the skating rink. 
and she would sometimes stop at the McDonald's on the way home. That's where, when skating was over, everybody would go to the McDonald's and hang out for a little bit. And so even though she wasn't really hanging out, we would go to that McDonald's. I remember it was on Bragg Boulevard in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Anyway, and it was at like the bottom of a hill. So we would go to the McDonald's. Sometimes she would get me something, sometimes not. <laughs> but I remember her talking to the lady behind at the register one day. And I was like, why are you being so mean? Why are you looking at her so mean? And she said she wasn't looking at her mean. And so, I don't know why that stuck with me because I, I know there was like a whole conversation about it at the time. I can't remember all the details. I just remember her looking at the lady at the registers like she was mad. And I, did, I just couldn't understand why she was so mad. Um, but now I get it. Maybe we both have rest and be face syndrome. Because just looking at my videos, I mean, I'll be saying stuff that I think is kind of funny. I have, I know I have a dry wit. That's probably because I like to watch British TV. But I, um, I look like I'm mad. And I'm not. So, I hope no one thinks that. Because I'm totally not mad. I'm probably, it takes a lot for me to get mad and really, I forget. <laughs> Not long after I get mad, I'll forget what I was mad about. So it doesn't even last. So, just so you know. But I feel like an idiot sitting here smiling the whole time I'm talking to. So, that would be kind of then you would think I was crazy, probably. Um, do I feel like going to the hair store? Still don't know yet. What do I need to do at home? That's the question. And is the 10 or 15 minutes that I take to go to the hair store going to make that big of a difference? Probably not. The thing about that is, it's not the time that it takes, it's the energy that it takes. So it's like when I'm home, I, I charge, I get a certain amount of energy to take me out amongst the crowd of people or to go different places. And it's like when I'm at those places around people or, I mean, I don't even have to interact with people. It doesn't even have to be a crowd. It's like my energy is, they're sapping energy from me. Places and people. And I know that sounds weird, but that's what it feels like. It's just like, I'm not even really doing anything that um, requires any exertion, like exercising or whatever. It's not that. It's just, it's like once I come out of the house, my energy is leaking. Or it's being siphoned off. Does anybody else feel like that? And if it's a crowd, it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I, I, maybe I absorb other people's emotions or something because like, I think I mentioned this before. I cannot stand for anybody to be upset around me, mad, angry, um, have an attitude, sad. I don't like it. Just, I, like, I have to get away from that. stinky vehicle and I can't get away oh boy it's either this pickup truck or this dump truck I think it's the pickup truck because I didn't even see the dump truck I guess I should go ahead and get the bows that way, when I go to Dollar Tree um, Saturday, I won't have to come back, backtrack to get them. And 
I could just go to Dollar Tree, get what my dad wants me to get, take it to him so that he can get his gifts together. Munchkin crowd. Oh, I didn't give me anything to drink this morning. Hmm. Do I want anything? Not really. We could have went to Chick fil A and got a tea from there. I still could, so it's not too late. Do I need tea today? I should go get me a tea from Chick-fil-A. Because I'm going to need that extra pep this afternoon when I have to go to this thing today. To this winter concert. Oh, that means I'm going to miss part of Liz, Liz's um, live stream if she goes live today. I should have looked in Target to find me some new shades. I have two that I'm, I've been wearing. I've been wearing these mostly. But, and I should have looked in Kohl's when I was there the other day too. I usually get them from Kohl's. And I like the um, Jennifer Lopez brand at Kohl's. I like her shades. But I've no, and I used to love her purses too. And her jeans, oh my goodness. Her jeans were great before I gained weight anyway. <laughs> Her jeans were bomb. Um, I would buy more even at my bigger size because they cover your buttocks. You don't have to worry about stuff hanging out in the back. Even, yeah. No crack is whack. None of that. <laughs> so I really like but I've noticed that, I don't know if her line is being discontinued or what, but there's no more handbags. Um, the clothing section is a little smaller than what it was. And yeah, I kind of miss it though. I don't remember if I saw her um, shades there or not the last time I looked for her stuff. But even with shades, I won't buy, um, like I said before, I'm not buying expensive um, sunglasses for me to scratch them up, break them, lose them, mess them up. Oh, I thought it went to the first lane. Oh, well. I hate the way they do this sometimes. How are you doing? All right, how you doing? You have a name for the order? Rochelle. Rochelle? Yes. Okay, and how may I serve you today? I'd like a large tea, half sweet, half unsweet. Large, sweet, and unsweet? Uh huh. Okay. That's it. Okay. And did you have a, the app today? Oh, I do. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so that should show you how often I come to Chick-fil-A. I forgot all about that. I downloaded that app, I think the last time we came. And I don't even know how to use it. I didn't pay any attention. He had to show me how to use it. So embarrassing. But now I know. Um, I gotta just remember to use it because not every time do, they don't remind you to do it every time you come. So, and y'all know I don't like chicken, right? But I will eat Chick-fil-A's nuggets, but they gotta be nice and crispy, and I don't, yeah. I'm not eating nobody's chicken sandwich. To me, that's something I would eat if I'm starving, like if I don't have any other choice. The way people were carrying on about that Popeye's chicken sandwich, though, made me wanna try it. It looked like it was a lot of bread, and I do like the crust of chicken, like fried chicken stuff. I just don't like, I don't like juicy chicken. I want my chicken to be dry. I don't want to see all that runniness and all of that. Just like, 
my eggs have to be scrambled well I don't want nothing over easy I don't want nothing oozing and looking like jelly none of that I want it dry <laughs> like my daughter says, my oldest daughter she says I don't eat wet food yeah but she means like stews and soups and stuff like that she doesn't eat that but I mean I don't eat wet food like it needs to be all the way cooked and I don't want any grease dripping out of it or whatever y'all want to call the stuff that's oozing out of this chicken. I, I don't want that. Um, yes. That's okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So yeah, I got my tea. I guess I'm just pilling around, just talking to y'all actually. Um, but yeah, no wet food, no runny eggs. I mean, I've seen like when they have the over easy eggs on burgers and stuff, it looks really good, but I can't eat that. What does it taste like the the yellow part when it's like that I won't even like if I'm boiling eggs or whatever and I mess up and the egg isn't all the way the yolk part isn't all the way I don't know yolky <laughs> it still looks like a little gelatinish I don't even want to eat that part I'll take that part out of the egg and chunk it even if I'm like grating it up for a potato salad or macaroni salad or something like that I'm not eating that. That's just right. It doesn't taste like syrup. It just has a hint of sweetness. Because y'all know southern sweet tea is like, could I have some tea with my sugar? Most of the time. I have to be in the mood for that. Sometimes I just get it unsweetened. And I like to add lime juice to my tea instead of lemon juice. I mean, I like lemon juice too. But... I don't know, that lime just makes it extra good. So when I get home, I'm gonna add some lime juice to it. And hopefully that'll give me the energy I need through the day without giving me the caffeine overdose feeling this afternoon. I won't suck it down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to the hair store because of what I said. Plus, in case they don't have the right kind of hair bows, then I can go somewhere else between now and the weekend or between now and Christmas. I did get her something else, and I do I do need to place an order on Amazon. I got um, G-Baby. When she comes to my house... She goes, she knows exactly where I keep it. I have a Kindle and it's like two or three years old. It's old, but she knows exactly where I keep it. I keep it, try to keep it charged when I know she's coming. She gets that Kindle and she'll watch it until the battery goes, which isn't that long. Um, when she was over the other night, I put the um, my backup charger, my battery pack on it to give her a little more time so I try to keep that but I'll try to keep the battery pack charged now for her but and she got a tablet last year for Christmas her mom bought her one and she broke it like the same week and then her mom got it fixed but it never worked right after that so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on something for her so when Amazon had those um, seven inch fire tablets, whatever they're called, on sale for $29. I got her one, I got me one. So I gotta remember to wrap that up. I'm good for at Christmas. Like I started shopping early when I was buying a lot of presents and stuff. And every year I would have at least one gift that I forgot to wrap, that I forgot I had. And I'm, it'll be halfway through the day and I'll be like, wait a minute. So-and-so didn't get such and such a thing. Even one year, I shopped so much, I bought two of the same shirt for my daughter. I'm like, how crazy is that? Two of the same shirt. But that's because I started early and then I wrapped it up like last minute stuff. And I was just, I don't know. 
but I'm glad those days are over. They want electronic stuff, so that means you only get one thing. And this year, hopefully, that's it. So, I guess I'm getting a little, no, I don't know if I'm getting that excited. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. But I still don't feel Christmassy yet. And maybe, uh, I don't know. I think kind of what made me feel Christmassy be before is because I would look forward to cooking all the food. I hated doing the wrapping because it would be just me wrapping everything and I would do it the night before. I was paranoid about putting stuff under the tree before um, Christmas Eve because I was like, what if somebody breaks in the house and steals all the presents? So I wouldn't put anything under there and I could hide presents so well my youngest son thought I had a secret room in my room. I wouldn't tell him that I didn't, but I didn't, you know, like I didn't discourage his imagination because he just couldn't understand where I was hiding the presents. And they were hidden in plain sight. It's just, he couldn't, he couldn't, just couldn't believe it. He was like, so how do you get to the secret room? Do you go through the closet or what? I mean, I, where's the entrance to the secret room? <laughs> I was like, I can't tell you that. So that used to be fun because he would be just, I don't know. I thought it was cute that he thought I had a secret room in my bedroom. <laughs> so your store's not busy. Let's see if I can do a Yui here. But um, yeah, that kind of stuff. I did watch Charlie Brown, or some, one of the Charlie Brown things the other night. And it was just like, wow, I used to really like this. I mean, it was still good though. We still get that nostalgic feeling, but I'm just like, no wonder the kids today don't care about Charlie Brown. The graphics aren't high tech enough. So here I am at the your beauty supply store. Um, if I can film in here, I will. It's really tight in here. And they kind of like watch you like a hawk. And some places don't want you recording in their stores. So we'll see how that goes. They had some that were just white. Oh, they do have them. Let me put these back. <laughs> I like to get colors that can just be neutral. She got enough hair bows to last for two years. I know they're like disposable because they disappear after so long. Let me get out of here if I spend $30 on hair bows. Oh, these are cute. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Okay, I got the bows. I'm headed home. 
So that's kind of what the outside of the store looks like. So we are off to home now. But somebody was in there to smell like, oof. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that a lot around here lately, that you smell that smell a lot more. Let me, let me flip the camera. Yeah, it's getting really hot now. Time to turn on some AC. Take off this jacket, but I don't feel like struggling. Wait till I get home. But yeah, <clears throat> even when you're, um, we can be riding down the street and you can smell it coming from somebody else's car. I'm like, do they not realize how loud that smells? That if the police pull up next to them, they're gonna smell it loud and clear. It's not. And I'm sweating. My prednisone effect has started. Ugh. And I just started melting while I was standing in line in that store. Turn the air conditioning down so When we went out to do the pickup for ballet last night, my daughter was like, Ooh, it's so cold. I was like, shoot, it feels good to me. That feels nice. Okay, I hope they're not with some shenanigans at this gas station. Okay, so it's still the same price here too. So let me get my gas and get on to the house. This gas station has that um, those screens on the pump where they force feed you advertisements and information. And it always reminds me of The Running Man. Have you seen that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? There was another one too where they went to Mars. I can't remember, it was a Total Recall or something like that. Anyway, but the whole environment is just like everything was about television on The Running Man. And it was like a reality, like the first reality TV show, really. And I find a lot of pop culture things remind me of The Running Man. The way it's like they try to brainwash you with ads and stuff. It's just, you live in a running man society and don't even know it. Watch the movie and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's other movies too. Like I said, Total Recall. And the one with um, Arnold, not Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Wesley Snipes and what's the lady's name? I can't remember where every restaurant was Taco Bell. I can't think of the name of that movie. I used to watch that movie all the time. But a lot of things that happened in that movie also was it Judge Dredd? No, I think I got movies mixed up. It's not Judge Dredd. Um, yeah. A lot of those movies remind me of how our society is now I should watch them so I can refresh my memory and talk about it in a more intelligent way <laughs> a more informed intelligent way but yeah that's what life feels like to me a little bit but anyway I am pulling up to the home front homestead to the house and I think I'm gonna call this call it a day for vlogging and get on with my day I still have time to get some things done and being that I don't have to go pick up the young man until late I have extra time so I will holler at y'all tomorrow bye